Hello friends, uh, in this session I am solving a query sent by a student. The problem is based on number system. Uh, if 100 raised to m divides 124 factorial into 64 factorial, then what is the greatest integral value of m? Uh, friends, uh, to understand this problem, you should have uh, attended the basic number system session where basics of this sort of problem I have already explained. Right Now let's uh, see how to do this. See, 100 is actually 25 into 4, right? So, 125 and 4 combination produce 100, right? If there are 2, 25 and 4 combination, then it will be giving 100 square, right? Similarly, if there are 3 combinations, then we will be getting 100 cube. So, precisely what we have to do? we have to find out the value of m. That means what? We have to find out the combination, number of combinations of 25 and 4, right? So, in this expression, okay. Now, obviously, if we expand this number, 25 will be less than 4, but we are interested in combination. So, what to save time, what we can do? We just find out the number of 25s um, content in 124 factorial and 64 factorial because extra 4 are not at all required, right? So, the number of 25s will be equal to number of combinations of 25 and 4 uh, in which we are interested. Okay, getting my point? So, what I will do? I um, will be finding out uh, 25s uh, in 124 factorial and 64 factorial. Now, friends, uh, to make it simpler and uh, easier, what we should do? Instead of finding out 25, we should divide, uh, uh, we should uh, find out number of 5s in these two. Okay, because, because two fives make 125, right? So, if we get odd number of fives in this and odd number of fives in this, so uh, from extra five, we'll be getting one more 25, right? So, uh, the, do not directly divide it by 25, instead divide it by five, right? So, first of all, what I do? So, it's uh, 124 divided by five. And we are interested in only integral part. So, 124 divided by 5 will be getting 24 as the integral value. Uh, we are not interested in the fractional part. Okay, because in 124, if we divide by 5, we will be getting 24 times 5. Right. After that, further if we divide by, uh, further 24 if we divide by 5, we will be getting 4 more 5. How do we get this 4 more 5? Because in 124, um, 25s are also there and each 25 is having one more 5, right? So, that we will be getting if we divide this by 5. So, in all 24 plus 4, 28 5s will be there. Now, we are getting 28. What exactly it means? See, if we expand 124 factorials and uh, factorize it into the prime factors, then we will be getting 5 raised to 28. That means 5 raised to 28 uh, will be obtained. Okay. Similarly, we can find out the highest power of 5 contained in 64 factorial in the same way. So, 64 divided by 5 will be getting 12. We are not interested in the fractional part. Now, for the 12 by 5 will be getting 2. So, in all it is 14. Right. So, this expression is divisible by 5 raised to 28 into 5 raised to 14. That means precisely 5 raised to 42. That means this expression is divisible by 5 raised to 42. Right? In 5 raised to 42 is equal to what? 25 raised to 21. And we are interested in 25 and 4 combinations. And 25 is appearing for 21 times. That means we will be getting 21 combinations of 25 and 4. Right? 4s will be extra, but we are not interested in that. Precisely, we will be getting 21, 25 and 4 combinations. So, 21 times it will be divisible by 100. That means it is divisible by 100 raised to m, where m is 21. Okay. I hope you are getting it. Just practice some of the problems like this. It, it's really easy. Okay. And uh, whenever you have to find out the power of any number, just do take prime numbers over here. Right. If at all you have to find out the number of nines, then divide it by three and then half that. Right. As I have done over here. Okay.